to automatically record the last 25 hours of mandatory parameters, a digital flight data recorder, DFDR, is fitted in the tail section of the aircraft. The data is stored on a tape contained in a fire and shockproof box, which is also fitted with an underwater locator beacon. The operation of the DFDR is automatic. On the overhead panel, there is a ground control push-button switch located on the recorder panel. This switch enables the pilot to manually select the DFDR and the cockpit voice recorder CVR on when the aircraft is on the ground. CVR will be studied in the communications chapter. We are at the gate with the parking brake selected on. Switch the DFDR on. A blue on light appears, informing you that the DFDR is energized. This light will automatically extinguish as soon as the first engine is started. This happens because the DFDR will revert to auto mode and will operate continuously until five minutes after both engines are shut down. On the pedestal, there is a DFDR event push button which can be used to set an event mark on the DFDR tape. If a fault occurs with the DFDR, an ECAM caution message will be generated. There are no ECAM actions for a DFDR fault. Now let's look at the Aircraft Integrated Data System, AIDS. To assist in aircraft maintenance, various aircraft systems are monitored by an Aircraft Integrated Data System, or AIDS. The data is automatically printed out for various flight phases by the onboard printer, located on the center pedestal. If required, the pilots can press an AIDS print push button, located on the center pedestal, to take an instantaneous snapshot of the various system parameters.